Howdy everybody, welcome back to the Hobby Farm Guys. I'm Brian, that's Steve, and keeping things running behind the scenes is Eric. Hello. In today's episode, we'll show you just how easy it is to start growing lettuce hydroponically, supplying you with fresh, healthy greens all through the year. Here we go. So here in Idaho, we're in the dead of winter. I, however, I'm ready for spring and I'm already getting that itch to get out and work in the garden. But that's still weeks. Months. Months. Yeah. Oh, wait. Even starting seeds indoors won't happen for a few more weeks where I'm at. But in that time, I can plant, grow, and harvest a lettuce crop indoors. It's easy, doesn't take a lot of space or money. And in addition to scratching that itch to garden, I end up with fresh, healthy salad greens for the table. Now, lettuce is the only vegetable that's only ever eaten fresh. Unlike tomatoes, carrots, corn, or squash, you're not going to find canned, frozen, or dehydrated lettuce. That means for most of us who live in areas with cool temperatures through a good part of the year, we end up buying that lettuce in the store. Now more and more, that's becoming a risky proposition. The CDC estimates that nearly 25% of all foodborne illness is caused by leafy greens. Outbreaks are fairly common and becoming ever more so. Recently, several outbreaks were linked to contaminated irrigation water. Now, even organic products can be risky. Studies show that up to 20% of organic crops contain pesticide residue. Remember, organic doesn't mean no, no pesticides, right? It just means no unapproved pesticides. All the more reason to grow your own lettuce year-round. The good news is that it's easy. Often people hear hydroponics and think complex and expensive, mm -hmm. right? And it can be if you want it to be, but it doesn't have to be. Lettuce has a few characteristics that make it well suited to hydroponics. It can be grown with lower light levels, so where tomatoes might require a fancy light setup, lettuce will thrive under a cheap shop light. Lettuce also doesn't mind cooler temperatures, so a corner of the garage or basement, uh, lettuce will thrive there where many other crops would struggle. Yeah, another advantage of lettuce is that it doesn't need a lot of space. It's a shallow rooted uh, plant, so your container doesn't have to be deep. And you can space plants closely to pack a lot into a small area. Lettuce also has simple nutrient requirements, whereas many crops go through blooming and fruiting stages, each requiring different nutrient mixes. Lettuce is straight up vegetative growth, greatly simplifying the need to provide a nutrient solution. And finally, many varieties are fast maturing, some in as little as three weeks, which further simplifies or even eliminates the maintenance that would normally be required for a hydroponic system. While head lettuce, such as iceberg, can be grown hydroponically, it takes much longer to mature, so we're going to focus on three common lettuce types that are super easy to grow. The first is butterhead lettuce. This is the most common lettuce grown hydroponically. It has a mild flavor with a buttery texture that leaves a sweetness in the mouth. Next is romaine lettuce. This familiar lettuce, known from Caesar salads, has a distinctively crispy texture and strong taste. And finally, loose leaf lettuce. Loose leaf lettuce has a mild and delicate taste and a crispiness that falls between butter and romaine. And that comes in several different colors and flavors. Now, whichever you choose, and we suggest choosing more than one just to mix it up, uh, the process is the same. You start your seeds indoors as if you were starting them for the garden. Now technically you can start them in soil if you want to, but you'll have to clean all that soil off before transplanting them into your system. So it's worth a few bucks to use a product called rock wool cubes. Now these can go straight into your system when the plants are ready and you don't risk damaging those tender roots trying to wash off the dirt from them. Uh, you're going to want to plant two or three seeds in each cube. Now, depending upon your variety, they'll typically sprout in a week or two. Lettuce needs light to germinate, so leave them out where they'll get some ambient light and not stuffed into a dark room somewhere. If you have a seeding uh, heating pad, that's going to speed up that process by having those temperatures at optimum levels. Uh, you'll leave them growing in the rock wool cubes for a couple of weeks. You want to see at least two to three leaves and a visible root structure before you take those and transplant them out into your system. Yeah. And once ready, transplant them into your system, and there's lots of options for these systems, right? Uh, we did a video covering the basics of each, and we'll link to that in the description. 
Now the nutrient film technique is really popular for lettuce, but for a small family size crop, we like the deep water culture system because it's so easy to set up and maintain. That's right. I'm using a 19 gallon Rubbermaid tote with six two and a half inch net pots for lettuce and it works great. As far as nutrients, you're looking at mostly nitrogen, uh, some phosphorus, but not much uh, potassium. Calcium is going to be an important micronutrient. Uh, if you buy a commercial mix, which we recommend if you're starting out, just follow the directions on the bottle and you're going to be fine. Right? You should aim to keep your pH in the 5.5 to 6 range for lettuce and provide 10 to 14 hours of light a day while keeping the temperature in that 60 to 75 degree range. Now just perform basic checks to make sure your pH and nutrient levels are in the proper range and in less than a month you're going to be eating fresh lettuce, although romaine typically takes a little bit longer to mature. Now growing indoors in the wintertime generally reduces the potential for pest problems. If you do have any pest issues, it's probably going to be aphids. And a trick is to plant some basil with the lettuce. There's two benefits there. Basil's a natural deterrent to aphids, so you're less likely to see them show up. And you also get fresh basil in addition to the lettuce. Right, and you can begin harvesting just uh, a few leaves from the outside of the plants as they mature. Uh, the plants will actually regrow those, extending your harvest, or you can wait and harvest the entire bunch at once. It really is that simple. If you have any questions, be sure and let us know in the comments section. Until next time, happy hobby farming. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.